Hello, and today we're going to learn the very uh, basic steps in learning to digitize an applique shape. So, first thing you need to do is be in Embird Studio, and we're just going to pull in one of the shapes from the library. So, I go Shape, and then I say From Library, and we're going to start with the circle here. Um, it comes in two portions. There's a fill and the outer ring here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of uh, this outer ring. So we have the circle. Uh, it is a fill. So if you generate the stitches here, um, you will actually see that it's a fill stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to be about the size of um, the applique that I want it to be. I'm going to do a transform and bring to center so that centers the design in the in the uh, hoop and this is uh, the 4x4 four four hoop what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to convert that fill stitch uh, via the convert tab and then say convert outline from fill um, so this right here if I hide the what was um, um, the uh, fill stitch here let me generate it so you can see it if I hide this then what is left is just the outline stitch so we're going to totally delete the um, fill stitch which we will uh, right click on it and do delete and now we're gonna right click we're gonna do a copy and then right click and do a paste uh, this will make a second version of this outline. I'm going to go ahead and change the color by saying right click and click on color and I'm going to select a color out of the catalog and I'm going to make it orange. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the orange one into the applique. So I'll right click on the orange and uh, go to parameters. I will click this little applique button down here, which will automatically uh, turn it into the applique. Um, I like a wider width on my satin just in case uh, I've got batting or something in there th uh, that I can't get cut exactly close up to the line. This gives me a little wiggle room so that uh, any of the uh, fibers or the batting won't show through. So I change my width appear to be 4.5 millimeters and uh, do a generate stitches and there it is uh, that's a, a wider than the two millimeter uh, and it gives you that extra ring next I'm going to uh, take this uh, first color and I'm going to do the copy and I'm going to paste it again which is going to bring a one to the very top let's go ahead and change the color on this let's try to find a nice brown how about fawn so that what this does was after the the satin for the applique uh, stitches it'll allow you, or it'll go through and and do a, a little just a single run stitch around the center of the applique the reason I like to do this is so that uh, so should something snag on the satin or you accidentally snip it that the whole thing does not unravel now we're actually going to leave um, this initial blue line that we had here because you will stitch this first and it will uh, give you the placement of where to put your actual fabric so if you're you're um, uh, you have your square that's a little bit larger than what your applique size is when you print this down or stitch this out it'll it'll show you the area where the applique is going to be you can lay your fabric down and uh, make sure that you've covered your area and uh, then you stitch out the applique stitches and then the final stitch and you can actually um, have 
this final run stitch here the same color as your applique sometimes I do sometimes I change the color uh, just to give it a little bit more interest but that's how you digitize a very basic shape in Embird um, I hope you like and we will do this and get in more advanced applique a little later on thank you very much